Right guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts video. Today we're reacting to boxing and we're reacting to one of the greatest trilogies of all time. It's not the only trilogy, but I will say it's the only trilogy I've witnessed as a boxing fan in real time. So, Deontay Wilder versus Tyson... F Actually, no, let's put that around the other way. Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. The trilogy. I love... Both fighters, I really do. Um, I absolutely adored this trilogy. I was watching every single press conference, every single, you know, promo. Um, I was watching every single interview. I wanted to see Tyson Fury be successful. In the first fight, well, he came back from the dead, didn't he? It was a draw. If he wasn't knocked down in the 12th, I believe he most likely would have won that fight. A lot of people thought he did win that fight. He certainly won it with the fans. Deontay Wilder literally knocked him out in the 12th round, thought it was over. 12th round. 12th round knockout. It's not the only time he, he went down that fight, but he did go down in the 12th round, and for whatever reason, you know, God was on his side, and he rose from the dead, came back even stronger during the remainder of the 12th round. Okay, then we come to the second fight. It's a draw, right? It's a draw. The second fight. I vividly remember watching this fight. I was in Thailand, training at Tiger Muay Thai. And I'll tell you what, the only, like, let's get, okay, so I, I'd, I'd go to Tiger Muay Thai, 8 o'clock in the morning, 2 hour training, till 10. You know, have a protein shake, have a bit of a meal, bit of a, bit of a, you know, a relax go in the pool, you know, every single place has got a pool, um, hot weather, beautiful, absolutely amazing time, and then uh, 3 o'clock would come around, and I'd go for my second session, 3 till 5, and then I'd come back to the hotel, and I would watch fights, I would watch fights, I would watch fight after fight after fight after fight, and I was training Muay Thai, but I'd, I'd watch a lot of boxing, lo and behold, Fury Wilder 2 was on, whilst I was in Thailand, and I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to watch this by myself, I'm going to go to Hooters, and that's exactly what I did, I went to Hooters in Patong Beach, um, Hooters as in the restaurant, and I started drinking at 11 o'clock in the morning, and uh, watched the fight with a bunch of other counts, and um, look, Tyson Fury knocked him out in the 7th round, I knew that, I knew Fury was going to come in strong, I knew, I knew it, and you know why I knew that? I, I, I knew it because Tyson Fury realized in that 12th round of the first fight after being knocked down that he, if he does come forward, Deontay Wilder actually has no response. He, 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 if, if, if Tyson Fury comes forward and uses his size and weight and punching power... You know, Deontay Wilder simply has no response. And, and that's exactly what happened. So, look, there's many excuses from Wilder's side um, as to why uh, he was gassed early on in that fight. But it was a seventh round knockout. And I remember being in Hooters. Sorry, excuse me. I remember being in Hooters and I remember being the loudest motherfucker in the room. And I was just... I, mate. <sighs> look, I was a Tyson Fury fan before. But that fight just really just cemented it, right? The fact that he came back from being 400 pounds. I mean, he's six foot nine, but 400 pounds is a lot of weight. And he lost, you know, over 100 pounds. He came back. He had a couple of warm-up fights. Then fought 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 um, the bronze bomber, um, Deontay Wilder. Went went to a draw. So he is still undefeated, and then goes in there and absolutely steamrolls the cunt. Seventh round knockout. Unbelievable. I remember. I remember where I was. And I remember the feeling I had. Um, I was pissed. As in drunk. But uh, yeah, certainly celebrating the, the victory. I was the loudest guy in the room. And I jumped on my scooter and went back to my hotel. And went and trained at Tiger Muay Thai the next day. Either way, the third fight. The third fight. The third fight was something else. That went a lot longer than the second. But once again, Tyson Fury. With the sheer size. He's six foot nine. He is an absolute. He, he's a behemoth. You know, Sha Shaquille O'Neal is seven foot one. Tyson Fury's six foot nine. 
you know, only a few pounds less. Can you imagine Shaquille O'Neal in his prime actually having decent boxing skills? No one could beat him. And that's the case with Tyson Fury. Either way, the third fight um, went to the 11th round. Um, Deontay Wilder was knocked out. And Tyson Fury maintains his undefeated record and wins the trilogy 2 to nothing. That trilogy was something I will never, ever, 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 ever forget. Especially that second fight. Tyson Fury is one of my favorite human beings on the planet. Not just fighters, my fav- one of my favorite human beings. Every single time he opens his mouth, every single thing he says on the mic is... It's, it's, it's useful. It's... I'm not gonna... It's... It's... You know, look, he's calling out... He's calling out Usyk at the moment. He's calling out Joshua at the moment. And in those times, you know, he might go on the... On... He might... He might become, you know, aggressive, you could say. But normally... The normal Tyson Fury... The Tyson Fury we know... Is... Positive. He's uplifting. He's come back from the fucking brink. He was he was travelling down the highway at 180 kilometers an hour, about to crash his car into a concrete wall, and for whatever reason he didn't. And now he's come back to maintain his WBC heavyweight title belt, um, and, and and come out on top. In this trilogy. Look I can't say enough good things. About Tyson Fury. And to be honest. I can't say enough good things. About um, Deontay Wilder. You know early on. In the piece. After the first. And well definitely after the second fight. When he had those excuses. About uh, (laughs) wearing his 40 pound fucking costume. To the ring. And having his legs taken out from under him. Um, Look I. It took him about a month. To address the public. He did address the public. And he came back strong. Gave a valiant effort. The thing about Deontay Wilder is that, look, he's six foot seven, for God's sake. You've got Joseph Parker, who's six foot four. You've got Usyk, who's six foot three. You've got uh, Anthony Joshua, who's an absolute giant himself, who's six foot six. And Deontay Wilder is actually taller than all those guys. You know, Joe Joyce literally just be- just beat um, ty- um, Joseph Parker last night. Joe Joyce is six six. Deontay Wilder is six foot seven, and Tyson Fury is six foot nine. There's no such thing as a small heavyweight. These these guys are absolute. These guys are giants. These fucking top heavyweight fighters are absolute giants these days. There is no guy. There, there's there's no David Tours anymore. There's no Mike Tyson's anymore. You know, if you're not six foot four or above, you know, it's 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 like a hybrid. These these guys are so tall, and at that height, you wouldn't expect them to have the skills and the and the movement that they do. But the guy, a guy like Tyson Fury, you know, combines height, weight, and skill. He's a gypsy. He rose from the dead. That is my introduction. Today, I react as a rugby player, but as a boxing fan also, to the Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder legendary boxing trilogy. And my friends, I've been looking forward to this video all night. And we're going to watch it together. What a time to be alive. What a trilogy. Honestly, I don't, I don't even want to start the video. I want, to, I want to keep talking about it. I want to keep talking about what Tyson Fury means to me as a person. You know, what this trilogy actually meant to me. Uh, but that second fight is just something I'll never forget. I was the loudest guy in the room. Well, actually, it was outside, but I was the loudest guy. And when Tyson Fury knocked him out in the seventh round, you know, and and and, and the towel was thrown in. Oh my God, what a moment! What a moment! <laughs> but I will say, Deontay Wilder, you know, he's come from he he he, he you know, he, he it's not as if he was uh, it's not as if he took up boxing at five, ten years old. He literally took up boxing at like was it twenty something like that, and uh, he does it for his family. And he's made millions and millions and millions of dollars. So he's set up his family for life. You know, he's done he's done what he set out to achieve. Um, I just want to see who he fights next. Either way, guys, let's get into the video. 
<sighs> a moment I've been waiting for all night. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace well, I'm not too interested in Squarespace. The ideal web and website. I know all about trying to include sponsors in your videos. And to be honest, um, with the results that I got from my sponsorship, nah, not a chance. Either way. Oh, let's have a look at this. Look, I'm a big boxing fan. I, I, I don't... <laughs> What are we going to say? Oh, oh, man, I've been looking forward to this video all night. Honestly, guys. Fucking hell. Ugh. It's only got 250,000 views. It's only been made a couple months back. Uh, make that four months back. 250,000 views. 9,000 likes. Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, Legendary Boxing Trilogy. Oh, my God. Let's get into it. <laughs> I know I'm fucking with you. It's another tall, unbeaten heavyweight, Kelvin Price. Bombs away for the bronze bomber. Bomb squad! <laughs> <laughs> Bomb squad! Bro, these are the times... Man, Deontay Wilder with a shaved head is something else. Deontay Wilder with a shaved head is just something else. That's the thing, he's had 40 fights. He's had a lot of fights. And he's knocked out pretty much every single person, except for... Yeah. Yeah. The Gypsy King. We have the new unified heavyweight champion of the world. Well, this was after Klitschko. In almost insurmountable obstacle in front of you. Becoming the heavyweight champion of the world. All of a sudden, you did it. Then the depression kicks in. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Heavyweight boxing champion Tyson Fury has gotten himself in some deep water. Our friend Mr. Fury has failed the drugs test due to the being cocaine in his system. What were the drugs of choice once you won the title? Cocaine was the usual one. Heavyweight champion Tyson Fury has been making headlines left and right since winning the belt. Now he's up Seriously, to come back from where, where he was? You know, literally wanting to drive his car into a wall? A cocaine addict, an alcohol addict, 400 pounds, overweight, to come back and beat the bronze bomber. Man. Opening up to Rolling Stone about his personal struggles with drugs and depression. You don't like it, change the station. You don't like it, don't take photos. Honestly, that, that's, <laughs> that's a young Tyson Fury's voice. You know what I mean? Because his voice is just... His voice has morphed into his dad's voice. And I suppose that's genetics for you. Don't like it. Don't print it in your newspaper. Do I care? Not really. He doesn't look well. You look at stuff that he does. He's very erratic in his behaviours. Call Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Holy no shit! Batman. Now that is a Batman. I don't know how he fat in that car. I don't even to live an athlete's lifestyle. It, it's an absolute disgrace to call me an athlete. Cocaine and alcohol. It's like... <laughs> crazy. Cocaine and alcohol. Uh, drug and alcohol mix. I remember this. I do remember this. Yeah, Fury vs Klitschko 2. Now that fight never happened. That fight never happened. At the time, I, I wasn't training. Fat man. That's who beat you. Shame on you, man. I've not been in the gym for months. I've not been training. I've been going through depression. I just I don't, don't like don't saying this. Live anymore. For those that don't know... The thing is, the belt... Look, look, I don't know who's shooting this video, but the thing is, he's always said, the belt means nothing. The belt means absolutely nothing to me. And that's that's a dangerous human being in the boxing ring. But having reached the highest of highs... When the belt means absolutely nothing, I mean, what what does mean something to him? And it's his family. It's his it's his wife Paris. It's his sons, who are you know legends in their own right. But yeah, let's continue. Jason Fury has pulled out of the rematch with Vladimir Klitschko at the he pulled out. because of mental health issues. I was sitting here, 400 pounds, a drug addict, an alcoholic. I didn't care about nothing. I just wanted to die so bad. I give up on life. And just as I was heading towards that bridge, I 
or 19, this Ferrari. He had a crush like a Coke can, by the way, if I'd have hit it. I heard a voice. Mental health issues. I was sitting here, 400 pounds, a drug addict, an alcoholic. I didn't care about nothing, I just wanted to die so bad. I give up on life. And just as I was heading towards... How can you feel like that after being the heavyweight champion of the world? You know, millions in the bank. Damn, bro, you've got to love who you see in the mirror, you know what I mean? You, you, have, you have to accept, at the very least, if not love, you have to accept who is staring back at you in the mirror, and it seems as if he just couldn't do it. Bridge at 190 in this Ferrari. He had a crush like a Coke can, by the way, if I'd have hit it. I heard a voice. He did hear no. a voice. Don't do this, Tyson. Think about your Fuck, kids. Bro. Think about your family and your that's, little boys and girls growing up with no father. That's big time. And everyone saying your dad was a weak man. Oh. He left you. He took the nah, easy way. he is not a weak man. And I'll tell you what, that's given me goosebumps all over my entire body. Because I've heard that interview before. And that... Because he couldn't do anything about it. And for the first time in years, I knew I was going to make a comeback. You know, you got to crack on and realise that you did it to yourself. Fuck, look at him, bro. This is before the first fight. 400 motherfucking pounds. Literally, I mean, he looks fat. He looks fat, but he's six foot nine, so he, you know, he he does distribute the weight well. But man, I remember these times, man. 2017, leading up to that first fight. Fuck, man. Tyson Fury, 2015, beats Vladimir Klitschko. <sighs> Sorry, guys, but this 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 video means a lot to me. There's no pity for an idiot. Just want to say I'm coming back. Better than I ever was before. And after that, he loses it all. Blows up to 400 pounds. He looks like La! he's basically done. La! 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 A wound in weight 400 pounds. RIP headphone Tired users, but I couldn't help. I couldn't help but do that. I could not help but do that. And I see this video of Deontay Wilder saying, yeah, Tyson Fury's finally done that because he can never come back. He gave me that much more motivation to return. <laughs> Just so I can beat Deontay Wilder. <laughs> and he was boxing villain Look at this! At He's a fucking giant! Who's that? And he has built himself back up. He's gotten himself back in the ring. He's tried to clean up his life. Yeah. Unbeaten in 40 fights. WBC champion. The biggest puncher in heavyweight history. After the layoff, I've had two and a half years out the ring. I was never defeated inside a boxing ring. And I wanted to fight the best when I came back. He don't feel pain that he never ben felt Ben Davidson. Before. Ben Davidson. Sadly, they did part ways. But I tell you what, Ben Davidson was such a, a an integral part of bringing this guy back from the brink. Mm. The problem is they're both unbeaten. They've both got unbelievable self -belief. Who's that? Ortiz? My boxing Ooh. ability's never been in question. I've never lost anything from my boxing ability. My movement, my feints, my IQ, nothing. All, all I did was pile our weight on. I will say this about Wilder. The right hand is something special. Well, you question the Ortiz Wilder's power. The proof is in the banana pudding. I didn't come to be embarrassed by this sort of skinny runs. what I'm asking that being out of the game for two and a half years I mean don't you know <laughs> look at Frank Warren look at Frank Warren mate he's still going strong in fact I saw Frank Warren just after the last fight between uh, Joseph Parker and Joe Joyce uh, clearly he's um, representing Joe Joyce and Joe Joyce got the win but Frank Warren mate he's he's well he's a fucking legend and he's doing Dana White's job um, getting in, in the middle of these fighters. Even though he retired and got stripped and hadn't fought in a while and everything, in boxing tradition, <laughs> that dude is still undefeated, no one's beating him in the ring, and he beat the champ to become the champ. You know what? You know what? No. Hold it right there. Nick Minute. Right. Can you see this? Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I literally bought two tops. Two t-shirts off of the Gypsy King uh, website about three, four months ago. I've worn one. I've kept one in pristine condition with the tag on. With the hope of one day having the great Tyson Fury sign it for me. <laughs> and I'll frame it. Either way, and still baby. And still, Gypsy King. Undefeated. 
I think this is... I, 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 yeah, look. At the end of the day, um, I've worn this top um, in a lot of videos, but none more fitting than this. Let's continue. He has a claim to the lineal type. Los Angeles, December the 1st, a day of destiny at the Staples Center. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. And now, ladies and gentlemen, he's back. Please welcome. And I will say, look, man, if nothing else, Tyson Fury's ring walks. Or could you call them walk? Or could, could I mean, you could call them fucking Egyptian bloody pharaoh bloody, um, you know, grandiose um, king type walks. But uh, let's continue. Gypsy king Tyson Fury. The first one, the first one was okay. The second was something else. But the third. Well, I assume we're going to see it. I love Tyson Fury. I love the man. I really do. And, there are plenty of people in the boxing world who still believe and if you haven't gone through your own mental health struggles, then I don't think you can relate. Depression wasn't a word in my vocabulary four or five years ago, but I, I certainly know what it is. And to come back from that, man. Some people don't. Some people don't. See, at that point, Deontay Wilder had the belt. Fury had vacated the belts. Most of them had gone to Anthony Joshua. This is for the WBC heavyweight title belt. This man, I'll tell you what. Oh, mate. Any of those right hands could knock out any in the world. This is why he's undefeated. Normal human. Even if it goes past six rounds, you never feel comfortable. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. To his corner, as much as to say, I'm in control. He's the dogs, but he's south, Paul. He's against the ropes. Bro, I gotta stop this, man. I got goosebumps all over my fucking body. All right, Tyson Fury. To think that he was literally knocked out. He was knocked out. And yes, there's some controversy around the, the standing 10 count, the, the 8 count, 10 count, whatever you want to call it. But he got up. But he was asleep for four, four seconds of those 10. He was asleep. Then he woke up and was risen from the dead and was given a second chance and came back strong and realized that if you walk Deontay Wilder down as a 6 foot 9, 270 pound man, You might have some success. That's what makes Tyson Fury special. Right, they're trading jabs. Have a look at that. Fuck. I think Deontay Wilder knocks Tyson Fury, finishes him in under 10. I don't know if Tyson Fury after... I'm pretty sure Fury went down in the fourth. And this might be it. This might be it. Yeah. No, no, no. This is the ninth round. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Went down in the ninth, and then again in the, in the twelfth. I know, you need, I got our balls like King Kong to step in the ring with Tyson Fury. King Kong ain't got on And this is the moment of truth for Fury. This is where he has to somehow find a way to survive. <laughs> and that he does. He comes back even stronger. If I can say if I can't the best, I ain't going to be second place or third either. There's no, no place for me in boxing. What a fight! What a fight! What a trilogy! Two absolute fucking boxing legends, mate, of this era. Two Wilder legends of this era. Twelfth round, here we go. This is it. This is where he comes back from the dead. I honestly don't want to watch it because it's. It was the right hand, then it was a left hook. Bang! Bang. 
bang. It was all over. <laughs> Deontay Wilder literally thought it was all over. Has there ever, ever been a doubt in your mind where you said, no. I'm not going to get up? No. Because if I open my eyes, I know I can get up. Yeah, exactly. But it took four. It took the four. It took four seconds for him to open his eyes. He opened his eyes. He got up. Oh my God! Fuck, man! What a oh, what a moment! What a moment! For a Tyson Fury fan, best moment of my entire fucking life. And then he came back even stronger. It was become a meme now. Watch this. When Tyson gets back up, Dominated the rest of the round. He might not remember it, but still. <laughs> oh! Get in, son! He's the guy who boxes like that. And it was a draw. The world heavyweight title. What a fight. What a fight. Honestly, I got goosebumps again. What a fight. <laughs> oh, man, I, I can't help but get goosebumps, man. This is insane. This is bringing back big memories. Real big memories. He Ooh. must be thanking his lucky stars this morning that he's still got the green and gold belt. Because that belt belongs to me. Tyson Fury, a.k.a. the Gypsy King. The biggest heavyweight fight in years was set. He said that he figured out something. Interestingly enough, after he got hit with that big blow in the 12th round of the first fight, and he got got up at that point and, and, and took the attack to Wilder in that 12th round. That's what he realized. He realized a lot. Honestly. It might be a minute and 30 seconds of a 12 round fight, a 36 minute fight, but he realised a fuckload after being knocked down, you know, coming back strong. To being like, you know what, I have been, I've been knocked out, I've literally got, come back from dead. Well, I may as well throw everything at this guy. And Deontay Wilder didn't have, a, didn't have an answer. It was in the 12th round, I mean both fighters are going to be fucking gassed. But have a look at this ring wall. This is just... Deontay Wilder coming this is fight. something else. Flatlined every single opponent he's faced except <laughs> for Tyson Fury. This was something else, and I'll tell you what, this ring walk was something else too. And the excuses that stemmed from it were... Look, honestly, I'm going to stop it here. I tend to actually... I tend to believe what Deontay Wilder said about that suit being 40 pounds and taking the legs out of him. Because the ring walk was like three, three four, five minutes long. And I'm pretty sure he said he, he, he tried the mask on the day before and it did feel heavy, but he's like, nah, this should be fine. But look, I tend to, I honestly tend to agree with what he said. So, you know, for anyone out there that's like hating on Deontay Wilder for the fact that he made that excuse, I, I, I look, it's, it's an excuse. Um, I reckon it's a pretty bad oversight for him. Uh, you know, he wanted to look good for the camera, but unfortunately it ended in a seventh round fucking bloody knockout. Um, and I was in Thailand to watch it. So he was probably thinking he, he could make Bro, anybody. Bro, have a look at his face, right? Have a look at his face right here, right now. This is crucial. This is absolutely crucial. He's in the ring. He's walked all the way to the ring. He must be thinking... Jesus Christ, that suit was heavy. Thank God they've taken that fucking mask off my head. You know, if, if his story is true, he's thinking at this very moment, Jesus Christ, what have I done? It's interesting. It's interesting regardless. Oh, just touch him. Tyson Fury changed trainers. Leading up to this fight, now working with Javon Sugar Hill out of the Kronk Boxing Gym in Detroit. <laughs> 6-9 against 6-7. Holy shit. The battle of the fucking exactly behemoths. Expect them to predict a fury loss. In order for him to knock Wilder out, you gotta be willing to take it yourself. I don't know of anybody who's willing to take it from Wilder. I don't think Fury's that dumb. Could it be that? That snap back the head of Fury. Round two. You told me three weeks ago, I'm coming into 270. It's gonna be simple. 
balance, fundamentals, one, two, I'm going to lean on him and take him out. He shifted his strategy, having seen a potential weakness in Wilder's defense during their first meeting. Yes. And I mean, hey, 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 look, I'm going to stop it right there. Hey, look, I've got to give credit. You know, Deontay Wilder did land some pretty heavy shots. Uh, and for whatever reason, you know, Tyson Fury wasn't knocked out because, I mean, all it takes is one. And I think Tyson Fury's ability at six foot nine to, to roll with punches, so to speak, to do a bit of rope a dope, even in the middle of the, the ring, um, certainly served him well. Bro, if he hadn't ducked. But back comes Fury! Oh my goodness, they're fighting even after the bell! He's landing! Can you imagine how loud I was getting at Hooters? Tom B. I don't know what you talking about. Knocking somebody in the second round. You ain't never knocked nobody in no second round. You got pillows for fists. I never believe <laughs> The pillow fists. The pillow fists. Yeah, I remember that one. He ain't got no pillows for fists. Well, he might, but he's six foot nine and 280 pounds. <laughs> Come on, Deontay. Look, all I want to see is Deontay Wilder actually get back in the ring and fucking, you know, smack some cunt. And make his way back to become a two-time world heavyweight champion at the end of the day. That's all I want to see. I want to see these guys succeed. You know, I, I'm, I'm not a hater by any means of any of these guys. Any of the top 10 uh, heavyweight fighters at the moment, and I can probably name them, um, I'm not a hater whatsoever. I just want to see fights. I want to see competitive fights between these guys. And that's what we saw here. And this is only the second. We're only halfway through the video, but I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it immensely and i hope you guys are too let's continue he's gonna jump on him mm -hmm. but tyson said he was gonna do that i know but he parted ways with his longtime trainer and took to the famed cronk gym where he trained to utilize every pound of his massive frame and he is putting his body weight on wilder wilder needs to stay away from the rope yeah, that's the thing man this standpoint, blood streaming a little round bit from three of 12. Of round Wilder. three of 12. Fury I'm pretty sure Deontay gets action. knocked down in this round. An unfamiliar position for he does. He does. He does. In the third round. I thought it was all over. Man, I fuck, bro. You think Paris Fury was getting up? I was getting up. 20 seconds to go in the third round. Go, cunt! Oh, bro, I was... Can you imagine what I was saying? I was literally... Oh, my God. Deontay Wilder's out on his feet. Third round. Third round of 12. Yes, there's blood coming out of the air. Every chance he got to lean on Wilder. Grabbing. Yeah, tired. Not for sure. Using his weight to his advantage. Absolutely. And it worked. It worked. Oh, this fight was incredible. I believe he put that exercise on. He used every bit of it as well for that fight. Making the fight an ugly one. It might have staggered Wilder. Fury going on the attack. Oh, go Fury! Go Cunt! <laughs> I think I was too pissed at this point. I don't actually remember this one, but was in complete control. Certainly remember the, the knockdown in the seventh. Oh, the body shot to knock it. Look at that. That's in the fifth round. Wilder's down for a second time, and Fury knows he's on top. Wilder's legs were gone. Starting the sixth round, we'll see if the champion can reassert himself. <laughs> These guys are so tall, it's unbelievable. 6'9 and 6'7. Get in, son. The green gloves of the WBC belt. Very pummeled. They're fitting. They're fitting. Oh, yeah, I know he's licking his blood. He was licking his blood. I forgot about that. I, I literally forgot about that. Oh, my God. Round seven. Here we go. This is this is the beginning of the end. This is the beginning of the end. Bang. 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 Bang, baby. When the bully gets bullied, he folds. Oh. Just legendary words Finally, from the great man, Tyson Fury. After absorbing one devastating attack after another, Wilder's corner threw in the towel. Tyson Fury has become the new WBC heavyweight champion of the world. I remember that well. Training with Sugar Hill. 
pretty sure they came to the, the post-match, uh, post, post-fight press conference in Versace. Versace robes, both of them. Man. The Gypsy King was back on top. He's a king who has fallen, rose again, never rose. I feel like crying, man. As he did tonight. I literally feel like Hail crying. The planet's baddest man. That Wilder was amazing. Defeat with dignity. No, no, I'm just kidding. He went on an excuse of that. Mm. <laughs> Look at this. That was extra weight. Then the ring walk, then going up the stairs. It was like a real workout for my legs. When I took it off, I knew immediately the game had changed. And that's the thing. When we saw the mask being taken off, he goes like that. But what was he really thinking? What was he really thinking? Oh my god, what have I done? What have I done? <sighs> Either way, no excuses for the third fight. We're about to get into it. Look it off. I knew immediately the game has <laughs> changed. He blamed Whoa. his costume for being too heavy. He blamed Fury's gloves. How to believe you put something hard in your glove. Something the size and the shape of an egg weight. It's the reason why the side of my face swelled up in the egg weight. Oh, I didn't... I, I actually forgot about that. So... Not only was the well the the, the ring walk um, somewhat of an excuse, but he also accused Tyson Fury of putting some sort of weight in his gloves, and I believe it's because in a couple of in a couple of still photos of punches of certain punches of Tyson Fury, the glove did seem to. Um, you know, bend backwards, and I, 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 you know, hey, I'm not a physicist, I don't know how that happened, but I don't believe that Tyson Fury put concrete in his gloves. He blamed his trainer for stopping the fight. It took a crab in a bucket referee and a disloyal I can tell you that much. To throw the in just to stop me. And so... To silence the excuses once and for all, a third and final fight was set between Wilder and Fury. A fighter that is looking for redemption, like Wilder, I could see him going right back into camp. Many expected another Fury victory, but few could have anticipated what he'd be in store for. The way I look at this fight, there's a lot of... Honestly, bro. Look, mate. Look, look. All right. Okay. So he's all about the masks. I get it. And he looks fucking intimidating. I mean, the masks are something else. But he didn't quite have the um the the cloak, that the heavy cloak that he had in the second fight. Either way, there's no way you're going to use that mask as an excuse in the third fight. Fury entered like a spark. Wilder knew his entire... Oh my god, look at him, man! Fuck, bruh! Oh, he is the Spartan. He is Tyson Fury. He's the Gypsy King. And he is, and still, the WBC World Heavyweight Champion. Boxing future was on the line. <laughs> look at his cap. Clear. Look at his Spartan outfit. The only way he was going out was on his shield. <laughs> big fight, guys. Big, big fight. Big fight. Setting Big the tone for a Zack Snyder 300-esque action sequence of a boxing match. His size of view is just too good for him. His size of view just got his number. And is he psychologically? Oh, Jeepers Creepers. Him. I am. I am. Could have a yeah, I'm feeling it. I don't know if you guys are feeling it, but well, I am. What about the fact that nobody thought that, that another heavyweight era was going to matter, right? I mean, let's I be honest. It. Hoping to sap Fury's strength, Wilder targeted the body. But Fury quickly took control of the action. See, that's the thing. You think of right hand from 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 Wilder as something, but a right hand from Fury is is just as it's just as devastating. And the thing is, I'm going to say this right here, right now. Deontay Wilder has a chin. He's got a fucking chin, and he lasted until the eleventh round, when he just couldn't take it anymore. He just could not take any more punishment. What a trilogy, oh my god, unbelievable. He's got the green gloves of the WBC once again. Tyson Fury, have a look at this, rope dope Ah, go cunt! 
Our IP here trying to use this. A third round knockdown made it appear the fight was over. Of course he's going to get knocked down. His fucking neck snapped in half, for God's sake. You know that's very similar to the to the to first, to the, to the 12th round knockout uh, knockdown of um. Because he got dropped. By look Tyson, at Wilder. He's like, what? What happened? What, what the hell happened there? I said he ain't getting out of the four. And Fury is dominant. Stephen A. Smith, shut the fuck up. Can he now go in there and finish this? How well has Deontay Wilder oh, been able to regroup? Right. You can't look at that. Like Honestly, to be able to absorb a, a punch like that. Honestly, don't know how he did it. I don't know how Tyson Fury did it. You know that sits down every single other top heavyweight fighter, except for Tyson Fury. I don't know how he did it. That is a that is a flush right hand from Deontay Wilder. Well, actually, he didn't do it. No, that's right. No, he he went down. He went down. <laughs> is the great he did go down. He did go down. He did go down. But he got back up. This is in the fourth round. I'm sorry, guys. I actually forgot about that. But honestly, after watching that punch, I mean, what do you expect? He's going to go down, and he did. Mistakes of previous rounds Ooh. in one fell swoop. Who wants it most? Who got the bigger heart? Oh, what a trilogy. What a trilogy. Trilogy for the ages. Wilder is fighting, as they said Just earlier, incredible. For his existence the rest of his life. Just oh, incredible. Is. That's powerful. And he puts him down again. He puts him down again. Yeah, that's right. Tyson Fury goes down twice in the fourth. But as he has done his entire career... He's all right. He's, a, he's okay. Fury Rose. <laughs> he rose from the ashes. He rose from the dead. Oh, and takes it to the eleventh. Don't put your hand up, mate. Don't put your fucking hand up. He is up, tougher cunt. than hell, and he is full of heart. You need to win great fights to become a great. Fifth fighter. round. Let's go. And what we have, it might be wild. It might not be. Yeah, I've got to be honest, guys. Get in, son. Go, son. Bang. Left. Right. He most certainly has done. Wilder needs to stay out of these clinches. This works in fear. Right, right. Seventh round the of the moment. Of the fight Ooh, nice wee jab there. Well, it's not a wee jab. It's a fucking huge jab from a 280-pound man. Six foot nine, absolute Wilder's behemoth. Takes big oh, bro, that's the thing, man. Man. A 1-2 from Deontay Wilder is like nothing any of us, any of you guys, any... Look, Nothing I've ever felt. A one-two from Deontay Wilder, straight to the face, straight to the dome, is like nothing else. It look. I can only assume it's like being hit in the head with a sledgehammer. And look, let's continue. What ensued was a war for the ages. A back and forth, no quit brawl. Is he amazing. Absolutely amazing. On the receiving end of some huge One of the you know what? I'd like to see a fourth fight, but it's not going to happen. Oh, get in. in get in, son. Get in, son. Oh, get in, son. Oh, Take oh, yeah, that's right. He tried to he tried to tackle him. Fury tried to tackle him. This is the ninth again. round. Or tenth round, sorry. Again, the bronze bomber got up. What a fight. Round 10 of 12. What a fight. What a fight. Oh my god! Tyson Fury is copping some fucking punishment! Tell you what. I'll tell you what. That, honestly, I, I I wouldn't have known. Like, both fighters have been down twice, right? Both fighters have been down twice in the fight. Coming into the 11th round, I literally would not know who's going to win. I... I Jeez, I, I I wouldn't put my money on it. I I I I don't know. I wouldn't know. I mean, being a Tyson Fury fan, clearly, I'd say, look, I, if if I had to put money on someone, I'd put it on Tyson Fury. But man, that's the greatest fight I ever attended. We admire that. That is courageous. Oh, that is macho. That is it bravery. It is. It is one of the greatest fights the of all time. King. Certainly Brandon the greatest Wilder trilogy of all time. West. There's so much involved.
and Sent him out. Leave shield. it three on, here we go. That's it, the killer blow, the killer blow. The killer blow. In the eleventh round. To have the strength. To have the strength to do something like that in the eleventh round. After being knocked down twice himself. Wilder can't really say too much. And there's his brother. <laughs> oh yeah, what an absolute cunt. That's the thing. Tyson Fury went over to his um went over to his corner and said, I respect you. He tried to get some you know, some good vibes from Deontay Wilder and Deontay Deontay Wilder said, No, I don't respect you. I don't respect you one bit. But I mean he just got knocked out, so I mean he's probably he probably can't remember what he said, but either way, I mean I, I didn't really like that. I didn't like Still. that at all. Heavyweight champion of the world. The Gypsy King Tyson Fury. I mean, talk about it. Shot in the arm and what he means to the sport. It, it, it really is incredible. He's one of the all time greats. Tyson. Of course he Fury. is. The Gypsy King. Well, not only that, but he sung fucking Sweet Home Alabama after the, fu after the fight. Nobody brings it home like Joe Vincent. Nobody. Make it so. Look guys, I don't know how long this video went, but I just hope it's monetized. Either way, if it's not, help the channel out, help myself out by heading down into the description box below and checking out various ways you can support the channel through Patreon, through becoming a channel member where you get early access to videos or by just donating randomly through Buy Me A Coffee. Thank you for watching guys. Tyson Fury is an absolute hero of mine and I don't say that lightly. You know, you've got Jonah Lomu, You've got the likes of Jonah Lomu, rest in peace, and you've got the likes of Tyson Fury. All right? Those are my two sporting heroes. <sighs> Much love and peace out.